2023. How PMB chose to reciprocate with Jonathan's gesture in 2015 over Boots. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Ahead of a forthcoming presidential election, which is mandated to take place next year, 2023, the GCFR President Buhari has reportedly thrown his weight behind his predecessor, ex-president Goodluck Ebele Jonathan GEJ, to become his successor in 2023. This by the public aspiration of the APC party leader and former Lagos State Governor Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tunumbu to contest for the position in 2023. You don't spoil. <laughs> He don't spoil oh, people of Nigeria. Are you not seeing it clearly? Is it not clear? Hmm. These people, they think the Nigerians are fools. So if Jonathan comes back to rule for four years, <laughs> then what happens? Let me now say this. So. Nigeria is in a place where before Nigerians will be revived, or Nigeria will be revived, it will take time. Which means we need somebody who is going to come for eight years. Somebody who is competent, who is ready to work, who is a patriot, who has integrity, who is, um, who is totally neutral, tribe-wise, ethnic-wise, religion-wise. He is neutral on all levels. Someone who is ready to challenge status quo. Someone who will come in and, you know, he's going to roll up his sleeves and be ready to work. He will understand that to make Nigeria better, we have to work. In fact, the work on ground now, eh, if you see the work, is too much. It is really, really, really too much. So that's the kind of person we need. Jonathan, what will it, Jonathan be able to achieve for four years? And then somebody else comes in. No, no. The Nigerians, so what do you people think? This one, Jonathan coming in, I even the man, the guy should sit down. He should go and sit down. Why? Because I don't see how his four years, Nigeria needs more than four years to be revived. His efforts might not even be seen. Nigeria is so deep into debt, so, so deep into death. So before someone will come in, and even aside, that aside, the insecurity in Nigeria, it has left the level where they can do it in six and nine months. So, to be sincere, these people that they have inculcated into the, into the Nigerian army, before you now see them, find them and single them out and separate them again, ha, please, it is going to take a lot of time. It will take time. And that kind of time, I don't think that President Gulag Jonathan, former President Gulag Jonathan, will have it on his hands. So this one, could it be true? Could it be true that Jonathan actually wants to rule? Sincerely, I was thinking he was going to just, you know, leave. He has made his name. He has made his name. His name will forever be in history of a man that really, really, you know, he tried. Just like every other politician, he tried. Okay, let's find out more about this. The news in detail. Report from the Whistler has it that President Buhari's decision was flawed by the need to reciprocate Jonathan's gesture towards him in 2015 when the former president called him on phone to address him as Mr. President. Thus, autom auto automatically considering defeat despite being constitutionally opportuned, opportuned to challenge the outcome of a poll which saw Buhari as the winner. While this seems to be a credible reason behind Mr. President's decision to endorse Jonathan, he may also deem it necessary to recall how Sunimbo played a major role in the emergence of President Buhari's government. It is in the record that Sunimbo, who was the one whom, through his political influence, facilitated the emergence of Buhari by convincing many southern politicians and top northern bigwigs to vote for him during the 2015 election. In fact, the APC bigwig is still regarded today as President Buhari's campaigner as a result of the unseen battles he fought to ensure that Buhari emerged the winner in the 2015 election despite Jonathan's wild popularity then. 
With this in mind, one can comfortably say that both Tonimbu and Jonathan played the role in the margins of President Buhari, but he chose to reciprocate the latest gesture over the former. Stop fooling yourselves. Both Buhari and Jonathan will support GYB because they trust the young man can lynch Nigeria into a real technological, in, into real techni te technological development. So the meaning of GYB is Governor Yaya Bello. What? <laughs> well, what I don't understand is even if President Buhari supports GYB or whatever you call him, supports anyone, does that mean that Nigerians no longer have a choice? Please, Nigerians, I want people to understand what is going on. No matter what you hear, please don't be discouraged. They want you to believe that your vote does not count. But it is a lie. It counts. It does count and we continue counting. If it does not count, there are many things that are not going to be able to happen. Vote still do Count. Don't allow them to discourage you and tell you that it is not possible. Don't allow them to discourage you with whatever you're seeing. At the end of the day, votes still do count. It does. Was Jonathan really an intelligent and effective president? No. He stood by and watched while his wife is a minister's prayer for the treasury. The fact that he peacefully handed to Buhari is not enough reason for his comeback. And Buhari cannot single-handedly do it. Nigerians will decide in 2023. Sincerely, Nigerians will decide. Nigerians will decide. No matter whoever they come and endorse, um, the ex-president, ex-military president came out, IBB, he endorsed Osiba and Joe, um, the governor of River State, Nyesu Mwiki, endorsed the governor of Bauchi State. Now! They want to endorse Jonathan or they want, they want to enjoy, is it GYB or whatever. Look at all these people, just leave them. Your own is to ensure that you get your PVC ready. Do the screening. Remember our method of voting. Our method of voting is not somebody who, ah, Jonathan is good, was good. No, there's nothing like was good. His time has passed. It is time for somebody who is innovative, who is analytic, strategic, who, is, who has integrity. Who is neutral on all ground? We don't want somebody that will come and be giving us um, Christian vibes or Muslim vibes. Somebody who will be neutral. Somebody who is going to be a good person. You know a good person, even if the person comes from anywhere, is a good person. The person knows in his heart of heart, you know, what is right and what is wrong. That is the kind of person Nigerians need. Not someone that will come today, you know, and he was, he was the president and so when he was, no. We don't want he was. We want what is the person going to be capable of doing now and right now. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. And until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.